Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to show you just a little bit more about 3D in uh, QGIS. I've, I've done a couple of bits before with Blender and the, and the buildings here and sort of um, actually, I think it was buildings in uh, Edinburgh and bringing them into um, Blender. Um, but and, and then you can see the, the sort of buildings being extruded and stuff. But but actually you can you can do that in QGIS you can um, see the sort of building shapes etc in, in 3d previously my 3d video is was really about sort of raster draping and flying across the um, terrain model uh, okay so so how do we sort of turn this into 3d uh, my version of QGIS is this one so it's 3282 and uh, just just to confirm so it's pretty certainly when I'm recording this that's pretty recent that might even be the latest latest one so I've got these buildings these are in um, these are the Washington DC yep uh, these are the free buildings I think they were launched by Microsoft um, if you go to right hand mouse click on your data that you want to make 3d and go to properties you can go to the 3d view and this is where you kind of set various um, uh, rules, uh, you know, about the display and the sort of coloring and stuff. I, I'm not going to do everything. I'm just going to show you the sort of main, um, uh, the, the, the main setting. And really, it's it's extrusion that we want. It's how far to extrude the buildings. Now, if you look on this, I can actually go to one of the fields, and you see I've got height. So that's actually that's not a real height of the building actually. Um, so this is height not sort of above you know the base of the um, uh, property and where it sits above sea level. This is the actual height of, of the building itself. So effectively how many floors sort of thing. So if I click height, um, what what's what's now being um, used there is uh, that field. So let's just press OK on that. But just because I've set that, it doesn't, it's sort of meaningless in this 2D map view. So what, what you do is look at 3D. So under view, you'll see 3D map view. Uh, let's do a, I've actually ha had one before open. Let's do a, a new 3D map view. And you can see it brings up a little window that I can control. And I can sort of snap it to the top there, or I can lock it to the side, because you know, just as any any sort of QGIS window. So now I've got sort of 2D and 3D um, in here. Uh, if I use the mouse wheel, I can zoom in, and um, and if I hold my middle mouse wheel down and move my mouse, um, you can see all the buildings extruded. Um, i.e. you know made to whatever height they are but my height value is not the real one it's uh, it's just a random value just just for sort of these sort of tutorials but it's pretty good I mean you know this is this is pretty neat to be fair and I can sort of swivel around and by holding I'm still holding on the mouse wheel that as my I, that's my middle button effectively and then the right one as I move the mouse back and forth I can um, zoom in and um, uh, and then I can kind of travel across with the left mouse uh, and do stuff. So, but um, an, an, a, a good, I think is a pretty new feature actually, just in case you um, don't know, is the f linking, the syncing between the two windows. So I've got 2D on, on the left here and 3D on the right. Or as I move this, I'd like it actually to show where I am on the 2D view and vice versa. Well, that's configuration. So if you click on this little uh, spanner wrench thing, um, apart from, I mean, there's lots of settings, you know, drop shadow, uh, the shadows and all kinds of stuff, re resetting the light source and whatever you like. But the, the, the key things I wanted to point out was 2D map view follows 3D. So let's click that one. So as I do this, you see how it moves the map and I could actually zoom in and it will just show me the sort of extent there. And let's zoom into a building on 3D and I can and it really homes in on, on you know whereabouts I'm, I'm dealing with on the 2D uh, but if I choose 3D map view um, 3D camera follows 2D map view 
now I can do this. See? Which is that I think it works slightly better because you can really get in on, you know, that that is obviously that. And now I'm there, I'm gonna alter that. What you might do is uh, you know after you've found your 2D view is is turn off um, 2D map view follows 3D. So you can then deal with it separately. So that's pretty cool. Final one, uh, yeah, they're um, um, I'm, 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 these are all just sort of um, following a. Uh, they're supposed to follow the terrain. So um, let's set a terrain, you know, sort of model. So I think that's in options and configure. Yeah, terrain. Um, it's not flat terrain. I want to actually um, let's just use the online one. And now what you'll have is my buildings sort of effectively aligned to, um, I think it's just a, a, a kind of standard online um, height service. I don't know completely. The point is, but you see how it's now um, also being sort of pushed through the um, floor. Anyway, so there's lots of settings. Um, you really ideally want your own DEM there, ide ideally. Um, and there's lots of settings in there anyway um, to set lights and labeling and all, all kinds of stuff really. So anyway, that's just a quick view just to get you started. Hope that helps. Thanks.